things. Now, um, going back to Dr. Mola and Dr. Uh, uh, Baez's uh, statements about how do you know if you've gone far enough? How do you know if you've done enough? This is where I would humbly put to you that, again, looking, checking is the most important thing. And so obviously I just mentioned using floral, but now in the modern day we have navigation. And so clearly you can put the short tracking devices of a brain lab tool or, uh, or this is a Medtronic stealth station tool, but all these navigation stations have some type of tracking device that you can see clamp onto the handpiece of this and therefore know where uh, and register the tip of your tool in the um, in the uh, registration platform that all these uh, navigation devices have, especially overseas, uh, you can use this to Brain Lab, uh, 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 Striker, uh, uh, and uh, the Medtronic stations. They can all be used to register the tool. To you know, won't give you a graphic of the whole tool, but it'll certainly let you know where the tip of it is, and then you can use that. For example, again, Dr. Yang Chen, you can see we'll be using it for calcified disc herniation here. And Ron Harrell over in Israel used it to resect that from a far lateral costal transverse approach. And you can see, you can see that's the transpedicular costal transverse uh, drilling he did with the drill. And then he used a navigated drill to gradually create a cavity, if you will, and then doing a standard thoracic discectomy using the curved drill to again slide under the dura, protect the dura pushing downwards away from it in a costo transverse or transparticular type far lateral approach. And that's, uh, I think, what you want to see. But the key is this lets you know where you are relative to the dura. This, this technology of tracking the tip can also let you know where in the framing you are. And to Dr. Mola and Dr. Baez's question, you guys were asking, this way you'll know you're out the contralateral framing, you're past the SAP, you're good. And also there's a very discreet osteophyte like that case I showed earlier with that calcified synovial disc. This will also let you know you're right there. So that's why tracking these tips is obviously something that we do. And uh, it's something that we're probably gonna do more and more of as, as we go forward, because at the end of the day, you know, with experience, you get better and better of kind of knowing where you are. But this is just a really nice way of using all the technology that we have available to us to make sure we do the best job every time. And, um, you know, I'll be the first to say that my ego and my arrogance and my rushing has led me to problems in the past where I thought I was somewhere. And then on the post-op CT or the MRI, I realized, oh my gosh, I wasn't nearly as far or I missed that osteophyte. So this is just a nice way of tracking the space to let you know that you've achieved all that. So I think that's a lot of kind of the extended applications and a lot of the navigation type check type uh, uh, technologies that we have that can be integrated uh, to the, the real curvature platform.